Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Alpine Stars SMX waterproof textile jacket. For those days where you don't want to wear full kit, something like this Alpine Stars SMX waterproof jacket is actually a very good option. It's pretty lightweight and casual, but it's CE approved for safety, including the armour, and it even has a waterproof membrane inside for wet days. I wore this one for a week or so across different types of weather and I found it very comfortable and also surprisingly practical. Anyway, let's run through the essentials. The outer shell is made mostly from soft shell fabric, which gives a very flexible feel. Sections of 600 denier polyester around the lower back and the sides also give a more conventional bike jacket feel in those areas. There are two areas of stretch material behind the armpits as well, and they aid movement when you're riding. The plastic shoulder cups here are lightweight versions of the ones used on Alpine Stars race suits, and the idea of that is to reduce friction in an accident. Their presence has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that they look cool. No relevance at all. The bit on the elbow, now that is a mock elbow slider and it's hard to say that has any purpose really other than for looks. The main fastener is just a good old chunky zip up the middle with a rain flap behind there that's gutted to channel any incoming water to the bottom of the jacket. At the collar there's an equally simple velcro fastener as well and at the cuffs again dead simple just velcro flaps. I wore this jacket mostly with short summer gloves but I could get a pair of long cuffed waterproof gloves inside the cuff of this and it was also possible to wear those gloves over the top so it's very versatile in that sense. The last thing to mention on the outside are the two zipped pockets at the waist just here. Now these aren't described as waterproof so I wouldn't put anything in there that would be ruined if it got wet. On the inside, there's a removable thermal liner. The body section of that liner is slightly thicker than the arms, which helps keep your torso warm, and it still gives you better flexibility for your arms. I put the liner back in this jacket for a couple of chilly rides. The temperature, I would say, was in the mid-teens, and I found this kept me nice and warm for those rides. There's one pocket in the thermal liner, but you can give yourself access to another pocket on top of that by unzipping that thermal liner a little bit, which lets you get to a pocket in the mesh liner. Speaking of which, if you zip the thermal liner out of the jacket completely, then we get to the mesh lining. That's got two storage pockets and also the pockets that hold the armour. You get shoulder and elbow armour included, which is light, flexible and meets the basic level one of the CE impact protection standard, just as I'd expect really from a lightweight jacket like this. It covers more of the body though than most armour and it's got the type B marking and that shows it's designed to protect a wider area than just a basic type A insert. In addition to that, the armour has also passed the two optional tests to show it's still effective in very high and very low temperatures. There are pockets for optional chest protector inserts and there are two back protector pockets. So that lets you choose between a regular length or a short back protector insert. I couldn't get my hands on an Alpine Stars insert when I wore this jacket, but I found an insert by DXR would go in the larger pocket. That protector was comfy within that pocket. It meets the higher level two of the CE standard and it only costs £16 as we record this. I've put a link to that protector in the description for this video. The label in this layer also shows the overall CE approval rating for this jacket as level A. Again, that's the most basic, but it's just as I'd expect for a casual jacket like this. Behind that mesh liner as well is the waterproof membrane that I spoke about earlier. In this, it's a drop liner, so it's there to protect you from water that soaks through the outer shell. That shell's treated with DWR, or durable water repellency, and that's something you can retreat once it starts to lose its effectiveness. So if water no longer beads up on the surface of the jacket, then it's time to give it another coating with some DWR spray. Now, I don't think anyone would really see this jacket as a serious option for prolonged use in the rain. Really, it's more about protecting you from showers. Still, I found myself riding in some pretty heavy rain for around 40 minutes in this jacket, and it kept me dry for all of that. So the treatment and the membrane together were effective enough for me. In terms of connecting it to trousers, there are loops at either side at the back that attach around a belt on jeans, and I'd say most people are going to wear this jacket with denim jeans. There's also an elasticated pull cord to tighten the fit around the bottom hem, which I think will help seal out wind and any rain that might try and get through. Okay, let's cover sizes and pricing. This comes in sizes from small to 4XL, which Alpine Stars say is a range from a 40 inch chest up to 52 inches. In most jackets, I wear whatever equates to a 40 inch chest and occasionally even go down to a 38 inch. With this jacket, I wore a medium, which Alpine Stars say covers a 42 inch chest. So here's my advice. If you're weighing up which size to buy, I would start with the larger of your two options. As for price, as we record this, the RRP for the SMX waterproof jacket is £264.99. Now that's on the steep side if you're viewing this as a second jacket, but for a certain type of rider, I think this really would cover all of their riding. 
The waterproof and thermal liners mean it keeps out rain and cold, and it's actually pretty substantial. If I had a sports or a naked bike and I wasn't expecting to be riding in heavy rain a lot, then I think this jacket would be actually a pretty damned attractive option, especially if most of that riding was around towns and cities. After spending a week or two in this jacket, I've actually become a bit of a fan of what this one's got to offer. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Alpine Stars SMX waterproof jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.